Yes. Heck yeah. <laughs> it works. It, it works. works. Finally. Dude, I think we should add video streaming to, to the Zoom clone. Yeah. You mean like screen sharing? Yeah, what did I say? Video streaming. Yeah, I think video streaming needs <laughs> pretty much done. <laughs> ah. I didn't. You already had that. You're right. But like, uh, I don't know, let's go to well, I agree though, we should add screen sharing, that would be useful. Yes. Else it won't be useful for like programming and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know that Mozilla has something on this. Display media. <clears throat> so if we just call this, you get a media stream back. And from there, we should be able to do the same thing we do with the video streaming. Let's see. We pull it up. Yes. Yep. Looks just like Google Meets. Yep. I, I think the first uh, part of this might be just changing the API. Right, changing the protobuf type so that we can know when we're receiving a screen share. That's right. That makes sense. What do you think? Like, Meet looks just like one more... One type of packet, of media, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it... The payload should be basically the same thing as a video packet. But we need to be able to tell if that person is screen sharing versus if they're if it's a video of their face. Right. Hmm. So hopefully this is enough. Then we'll just run our uh, generator, run the buff, and then make build. I think. Yep. Uh, maybe if make I sell Docker, helps. Yeah, you need to have Docker Damon running. And you wait a couple of minutes. Oh uh, yeah, take a nap. <laughs> you spend some sur they <laughs> respond some surveys. Yep, grab a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, Docker desktop starting. All right. Done. If we go to SRC, Protoss, Media Packets, we have screen. Oh, yeah. My Perfect. Let me just adjust your frame a little bit. Because you look... Yeah, you're good. I'll just adjust it. I'll adjust it. Like, you okay. make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Yep, I'm comfortable here. I just I'm sitting by my mic. Uh, you need to stand. Yep, I do. <laughs> All right, I got to get one of those fancy ones. Yeah, these one I recommend this one, the uh, Rody. Mhm. Mm Good. All right. So now that we got that. We gotta go over to the host and basically we want to prove that we can stream. So let me create a handler similar to this handler that we already have. So screen screen <laughs> output handler. And it's not going to do much. It's going to be a box new of chunks. And that's it. I mean, it's not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. the one Does thing it have to do the same thing as video? Same thing. Okay. What I can do differently, like we know we're going to end up moving it because it will be gross to add it to these existing method is just too much. I can try to group it 
Ah, uh, you know what? Nah, let's let's start dirty. Let's we'll just copy better. and paste it. <laughs> yeah, just we. This already works, right? Yeah, let's just inline it, and then we can clean it up afterwards. Yeah. So these two lines are going to be the same, and then we're going to say screen equals screen screen stream equals to just doing navigator media devices. Um, we have that line just above there, so you can refer to just media devices, I think. Yeah, so media, so media devices get screen media, get, dis get display media, and this is a promise. Yep. This is a promise, and then, so <clears throat> we are in JavaScript land. We got, we have to transform this thing to Rust land, sort of speak. For sure. For that, we have this stupid thing. JS future. Okay, and then you can await it. Right after you wrap it. Yeah, like a savage, and then wrap, okay. wait, and wrap. Obviously, this is not safe code, but by any means, this is a proof of concept, one hundred percent. And right. then, <laughs> what we get back after all this carnage is, um, we get. A media stream and we know that based on the API it's not something that Rust is telling me. Rust is telling me that I get a JS value which is useless. JS value is anything. Right but we know from the Mozilla documentation so that it's gonna be a media stream. Right. Yep. Now that we have the device we can pull we can pull frames from it. Is it is math? Because I'm not. It doesn't know what the type is. Yes, value. Oh. Okay, so we read the camera. Now we are going to pull frames from it. No. Pull frames from it first. We need to get the track. So let's do. Uh, Screen track equals to screen stream get video tracks, and then we'll get the first one. We'll get the best first video track that we find. That's why we use this uh, find. Okay, yeah, so just the first one that exists. And then do another unchecked in the video track. That's right. Okay. Get the first video track that you find, and then we're going to put it on a box because we pass it around, and we we just need to be able to pass this object. Around. That's why we box. I think you need to put that parenthesis like one line lower. Get rid of the semicolon on 102. Cool. Now that we have the track, I'm trying to at least put these statements close to each other so that we can move it to a method. Right. Yeah, like keep all of the screen stuff grouped together. Yes. I bet you that we need something a processor a we process. and the video reader uh the processor above well, these two oh it looks like they're the same thing but i wonder if we can collapse this to a single method but we'll see i'm optimizing now get it to work no yep. then it oh yep. screen screen processor uh, it was going to take a screen track and then pass this here and then we have a screen reader so I feel that oh, this whole thing is the process for getting the screen that the user wants to share creating the 
stream for, for it and then setting up the reader but now we need to pull the frames mm -hmm. to pull the frames we have a for loop <laughs> down here right well, let's follow the same just path. infinite <laughs> but yeah Infinitely pull them that's right it just has like a flag they, we, we have like a flag that says stream as long as 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 long as the component is mounted we we do set like a check here like if if it, if the straw is true then stop streaming okay and literally i'm just going to take this whole thing this is almost like poll video mm -hmm. green breather This should compile. You need a loop. You forgot the loop. Um, um, you didn't copy it. So just at the top of pull screen. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got the if statement, just the loop. In the bracket. All right. So the loop. Then we need to indent everything. This is our match statement. This is our loop. This you gotta is... save. It might compile. There you go. Yeah. JS frame instead of video frame. Right. We have to cast it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cast it. And I feel this. This is. I mean, let's call it like a. Let's call it like a. This is inconvenience because you're going to get a stream. You're going to get a JS object. From this and then it's your responsibility to cast this to a video frame and if this was typescript we wouldn't have to do that let's just be honest that's not that's some work the uh, that's that's more that's some work that uh, you know was and Bingen and people have to do to make this more convenient i think yeah for sure you shouldn't have to do that seems like these things should be able to be typed that's right. So that's yeah. the big criticism from me. This is not that type safe. Like this if you get this type wrong, it might throw. <laughs> so it is it's just it's, it is what it is, you know. I'm just going to add a um, uh, block statement here. A bad frame. <laughs> Right. Let me run it real quick. Just to... works. Make up. We'll see if it compiles. I think we're going to need to update the places we use that enum. The media type enum. You're absolutely right. It's not gonna compile. So let's just do it. So we mm -hmm. used it in a match statement here. <laughs> it's angry already. Perfect. We have media. We have <laughs> video, audio, and we need to add media packet. And this is the protobuf that we changed. Hmm. All right. I think that's the only spot. Yeah, now it should compile. Yeah. Oh yeah, if NAS it, it did wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is calling was and buying gen, so I did you it's bring the chicken? <laughs> Kill the chicken and offer it to NAS. <laughs> um yep, I would doubt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good so we also need to screen. And you also need to await this. Yep. Or else it won't do anything, probably. <laughs> Come on, do the thing. <laughs> Just save it again. It's 
It's not going to work. Uh. They awesome. worked like the seventh time. Yeah. The seven times we had to refresh. And you should get your log message, right? Nice. Hey, by the way, I think there's some noise. Do you have a lot, a lot of gain? Yeah, I have a lot of gain. Can you reduce it? Yes. It's a lot How is that? A lot better. It's at such okay. his. Well, that's unfortunate, okay. it, but I'm not going to restart everything. <laughs> so, <You're> right. <laughs> yeah, so it, now it streams. We see the frames. Awesome. <sighs> yep, they're flying through pretty quickly. Yep. Nice. So we proved that we can stream. Now let's add like a little button to start and stop the streaming. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good to like have that pop up happen. Yes. So to do that, we gotta go to the those buttons. These these buttons down here are in the attendance component. We go down here. Here we have all these buttons. Can you decrease the gain even more, like a little bit more? Now. Testing, testing. Elon Musk sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe a little more, a little bit more. Better. I guess it's just Google Meets, probably. Yeah. Yes, and you sound as loud, so you're good. As long as long as you're. Okay. Yeah. As, you just gotta stay close to it. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's add one more button here. Yeah. So it should. Be the same as the con connect, probably. Yeah. Or, yeah, it'll be very similar. It'll just be a different action. It's going to throw a tiny bit of gain. Should be good. All right. Cool. Same button. Uh, we need one more action. I mean, this button needs to have two states. Yeah, share and disable share. Yes, share and else disable, disable, share. So like if some properties false, yeah. if self.sharing Screen. screen not sharing screen that's true if not sharing screen then share else false all right let's add that property is going to be a boolean according to our attendance component mm -hmm. going to be initially false um, and then, well, this is the type bool. And then mm -hmm. there's a place where we initialize the component here. So we're going to say journey screen false. Cool. Okay. Wasm Pine Gen worked miraculously. Oh, yeah. It always works. What are you talking about? Don't shit on NOS. <laughs> <laughs> Great software. <laughs> and we probably don't want it to ever be disabled. You're always going to be able to click it, just the action will change. Yep. Um, yeah. We need to create a new message because all these things are message driven, so 
we have all these WebSocket actions. Now we can call it like, I don't know. We have, I mean, if we don't want to use a nested action, we can just say toggle, toggle share button. How about that? Mm -hmm. Toggle share. And you can just rename it action. Doesn't have to be WebSocket action. That's right. Unless it's, you want it to be specific to that. No, 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 you're right. I can just rename it action. Yeah. Rename symbol. And then the rename on lo uh, line 40 as well. Yes, it, the compiler was not that powerful. Oh, yeah. Probably there's a. Double. Well, that's a different type. It's in the message genome now. Yeah. They got close. Toggle share not covered. That's good. All right, cool. So action. Toggle share. And all we're going to do is flip. The self toggle share. You know, share, share screen. Sharing screen equals to negated sharing screen. And then that's going to force the screen to refresh. I think I think it has to refresh, else we won't be able to see the button. Edge. Okay. Right. So you want to see your screen disappear up. Do the thing. God damn it. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to build I'm going to send a build to NAS. Like, hey, I'm going to build you for two engineers. Billing rate of, I don't know, $80 per hour, waiting for your <laughs> shit to compile. If you are able to fix this timeout issue, I'll give you $200 if you're watching this video. <laughs> for sure. I think it's worth it. Nice. The share button works. Now we need to hook it up to the request that's right so when wow. yep we'll pass it downstream so we'll say when we create the um when we create the host component here we're going to pass the value self Uh, obviously, it's not going to understand what we're trying to do, but we'll make it understand what we're trying to do by... Uh, we need to modify the props, so if, for those of you that use React, this should be the same thing. It's just a copy pasta. <laughs> Up. Bring screen bull. Perfect. Cool. And I think we also need the variable here to store that in screen. That we remember so that the component remembers. I mean you can read the props technically, but uh Oh yeah, no, there, there I think there was a good reason for it because once you start streaming, you cannot read the new props, I think, or something. So you need like atomic, an atomic bowl so, so to reliably read the state transition. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we're going to pass sharing screen as false. All right, now we need to, so where we do the navigator, like the media devices dot, whatever call. Uh-huh. Yeah, media devices dot get display media. That's right. So 
do we have access to self here? Can we look at like self dot sharing screen and Oh, I see what you're saying. I think you know what? This is a perfect moment to split this logic into a different method because it's going to get wacky. Like I know what you're saying. Like you we can do <laughs> if self dot um, sharing screen blah 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 but it's 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 about to get messy. This method is already like two hundred something lines. And we got it to okay. work. Yeah, but if we do message dot toggle toggle screen share. No. we we'll we can just call it start start screen share. Mm hmm So let's add this as a method as a as an enum. Right. And then there's some method that gets called every time there's a new render. So here, technically here, we can detect when context dot um, props dot sharing screen. So yeah, so if context dot props dot sharing screen is different than um, sharing screen. Load. It's ordering ascending. Acquire. 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 Right. So if it's different than that, well, let me let me get the ball here. Let's screen sharing equals to this. Oh, sharing screen. Sorry. Need to be consistent. No need to create variable names. Mm -hmm. So if this changes, then we want to store that sharing screen equals to oh uh, shadow wing. No, to context with props. So you do self dot self dot sharing screen equals. Oh. Oh yes, you we because at, at this point you got a copy, right? You got a copy. You you're yeah. not okay. You're right. Self dot sharing screen dot that or you can just do equals. I think. Nah, no, it's something weird. Something you have a mutable. You have a mutable reference to self. Yeah, but the, these That's these store. Okay. This thing has its own API. Like, I see. I think. Sharing screen order value true. Well, I'm not sure if it's true. Is whatever this, whatever this is. That's what we want. Whatever this is, we want to store that, and then we want to issue an, a message to self. Context link sent message. All right. Okay, nice. Now, we accomplish moving like separate the separation that we needed from that mm -hmm. Uber evil method. Um, okay. we can start to move things over. Uh, here, whenever we we get a new frame, send frame to peer. Then we got to start this asynchronous method. All right. All right. Now we'll do everything in that asynchronous block. So we'll do this. It up. Um, all thing up. Mm -hmm. You added two streams. Let's delete. Delete it here. Probably deleted, deleted more than I should have, but we'll see <laughs> if it still compiles. Yeah, you're going to need that navigator.media devices line. 
Uh, yeah, and I saw that you copied two streams, I think. So you, you have it duplicated. Uh-huh. It's all good. You're close, yeah. All right, so I... I oh, no, you, got the, you copied Navigator. Cool. So I didn't it look. looks good. All right. All right, so that's good. Now let's move on. Uh, we're going to move that asynchronous method we created to listen from frames. Mm -hmm. So pull, pull, we're going to copy, pull screen. Well, not copy, just move it. Pull screen, we're going to take it out from here. screen need to indent it properly ah. then await it so but await the NAS then going to tell us oh okay yeah I need to copy that too <laughs> So I just, um, I know we, inside these, um, meth these, um, synchronous methods, I keep a copy of the story. I need to pass a copy. Oh. Okay. Compiler driven development, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for someone with, the um, a very very small cache memory like me it's very useful because the compiler keep, keeps me in check it doesn't yeah, same here. <laughs> i was never very successful with javascript because of that yeah like oh you forgot to do this you forgot to do that it's like just don't compile yep. all right so this is great now we need to okay. start the video streaming we never did that. Let's see if our button works real quick. Oh yeah. Hopefully it will. I mean, I mean the compiler works, so I trust it pretty much. Let's see, all right. Let's give it a shot. Uh, here comes the. I'll add uh, on post like sound of like uh, one of those uh, casino <laughs> machines that. <you> yeah. <laughs> Slot machine. The slot machine. Every time you press, you press save. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm gonna shut my door real quick. All right. All right. Ah, finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So when I press, when I press um, share screen, it did share. Mm. Cool. We'll share. Ah, disabled didn't work. Oh, I know why. We didn't implement that. Yeah, the if is share screen. Oh, I don't need to. I need. I need to pass the whole atomic pool, not the. Uh, I think it uses some mutex in the scenes. So I need to pass the object like this. And then I need to do the same exact thing. 
Mm -hmm. Maybe. Do you need destroy? Isn't that meant for the other one? Yeah, I need uh, both. I think it's sharing screen. Yeah. The compiler. What's the, but isn't destroy for video and audio? It's for the whole component. So check this out. Okay. If we go to the destroy method inside the um, component, it's like this is the last method that gets right. called before it gets removed from the DOM, or I think after the component gets removed from the DOM. So you need to react to it. Cool. I know it's like especially bad. Hey. <laughs> All right. So you start sharing. What? I don't see the frames. Uh, the first time the state, the state on the first refresh was wrong. Mm -hmm. And now it's wrong too. Like, say, so I click. Okay, so you refresh your screen, click share. Like the screen you want to share doesn't work. Then you disable yeah, share. Maybe, yeah, or, uh, maybe our comparison is backwards. Yeah. We're comparing comparing to the wrong atomic bool or something. Possible. Oh. Uh, dummy. This has to be the opposite. <laughs> right. Uh, if not sharing the screen, then stop sharing. Ah, that copy paste stuff is not, <laughs> not not good at copy paste or thinking. So. <laughs> well, we got it. We figured it out pretty quickly. Yeah. We just have to wait for Nuz to bless our. Terminal. Yeah, I'm just so busy shitting on his trunk thing <laughs> that I don't look at the code. Ah! Hey. <laughs> right? Nice. And disable. Uh huh. Ah, oh, damn. One more, right? Uh, what? Okay, no, that works. It's not streaming, but it. The pop-up happens still, so I think the bool is in the wrong spot, maybe. When we I've been, been talking close enough. Does Sorry. it sound okay? Yeah. Okay. Can you talk again? Testing, testing. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So disable share. So I'm pressing disable share. Why did it get triggered again? Yeah, it got into a bad state. Yeah, there's some bad state. But it, when you select something, it doesn't actually share. It doesn't start streaming the frames. It, like, throws it away. So it's in some weird state. Okay, this is this is good. So the first time you click it, you press here. All right. What's going on here? Right. Let's, um, you know what? Let me set, like, some sort of... Here I'm saying if the value is different. Ah, uh, maybe I'm shooting myself on the foot here. I only store... Here, I, what I'm saying is only store the sharing screen state if it changes. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I should, bl I should, I should blindly store... Maybe I should blindly store the new state regardless, but only call start streaming share if it's true. Only if it's true. Okay. And I'll add like a the log statements like every pro professional developer. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely professional. Yep. So those yeah. are key. Oh yeah. 10x developer, as the internet will say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is local... Local screen sharing. Local screen sharing is going to be... 
the value that we currently store in the component. What do we need these for? We don't need these for anything, do we? Gone. Well, just, just, well, we needed just to print it, but we're no longer using it. Am I, am I confusing you with my illogical stuff? <laughs> I'm getting a little confused, but. So I want to print these, both these variables. That's all I want to do, but. Right. Yeah, I get it. This, this should, uh. I should get the point across of where it's happening. Yeah. Okay. Right. So initially it's all false for everyone. I need help with this dude. Yep. So I click share. Oh, it goes into an infinite render loop. Oh, no, yeah, it's infinite. Whatever you changed. Uh, every day, something new. Mm -hmm. I know that we added, when we press the button, I set refresh to true. Can we look at that uh, logic and rendered? again rendered where's that like the the method that's called when it first renders or whatever yep. yeah rendered ah. so so we if if context props sharing screen okay so if it's passed down that's gonna call and uh, inside of start screen sharing i think we have like a call to re-render so that's just going to continuously re-render, isn't it? Yeah, that's us. False. We need right? to. It. We need to only call that if that changes or something. If screen share changes. Oh, that's the. I see what you're saying. Yes. Right, sir. Um. Not here. I see exactly what you're. Yeah, like only, only start screen sharing on the first time it changes. Yes. So. Right. So I'll set. How about this? I'll set these after. Yeah. Well, I never set it. Why? Yes, here. Well, you do set it on 71. 71. So that's what needs to happen yeah, after. Yeah. And then you have to do, like, if does not equal, on 73, does not equal local. Local. If, if it's not equal and it's true, and if. Is it dumb if I do this? And so if this is set to true and is not equal, then only then start screen share. That's the only scenario where we want to call this method. Now I lost you. Oh yeah, I was muted, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, that looks perfect. My cats are fighting like crazy, so I was muted. That's great content, dude. Just let them fight. We just can't stop calling. That's... Uh, yeah, dude. Yep. I love cats myself. I love when, like, your cat walks in front of the camera, like, hey, I need... I want attention. Yep. All right. Hey. Right, stable now. Mm -hmm. 
Ja. Hm? Nice. Hm? It worked. Hey. Yes, of course it works, dude. Uh, yeah. Yep. This is the first shot. I'll edit this thing. It will. Yeah. yeah I'll just stitch it together so that yep. it, it's clear that we got it to work on the first try. Okay, we got it to work on the first try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say so pro developers. Yes. <laughs> Types. So you got chat developers. Chat. <laughs> All right, now we need to do something with the frames, right? We need to encode them. Yes. Probably don't need those logs in the rendered method. Yeah, it's gross. Only noobs use logs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now we again back again at the copy pasta. Mm -hmm. So now we are going copy to copy the video output handler. It's like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two host screens and I'm going to copy paste like a pro. Nice. So here on the left side we have the the new message the new. Yeah, the new message that we created from for screen share, and on the right side, we have the um, what I'm going to copy. This is where I'm going to copy stuff from. I'm going to take stuff from the from the BDO encoding and move it to the, to the left. So we go to and specifically we want the video encoder stuff. So like this, we want this stuff. So we are going to start by copying the method to handle errors like an absolute giga chat. Just print mm -hmm. them to the console, <laughs> and you're, that's it. Done. Error. Error handling accomplished. <laughs> Going to copy An encoder. Oh shit! <laughs> and copy. <laughs> so this is I'll the destroy it. Hmm. All right. So the encoder and the settings, just yeah. setting up the height and width. Right. But when and attaching the callbacks to the encoder. This should be screen, screen track. Why it doesn't know that there's a screen video? output handler? Screen output handler. Ah. Interesting. I think you didn't put it inside of like the closure box that this other one is in. I would, just start, like, I would just copy it from the video. Whatever the video has, it's got to be the same. Yeah, probably a same icon somewhere. Green. Copy the whole thing. If you're going to copy, you copy everything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Don't leave anything out. I remember clearly. I don't want to skip, skip, but I remember that this was too much. Like we pre-allocating yeah. 300. Just going to change it because we, when we were doing the, when I was doing the video streaming, I. I was playing with these values, so I'll just do a hundred thousand yeah. for each. That's enough. Yes, that's a right. And here we want to we want to modify this method after to do screen video chunk. 
Um, all right, screen output handler. But on the right side, you wrap it in some sort of like closure object. That's right. On a, on a separate line here. Yeah. That's what was missing. This is, this is what was missing. Yeah. Then we just encode your config and conf. Will be the last copy paste that we need to do in our lives. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> That's how I make my money. Yes. Copy paste. <laughs> Professional copy paste. Exactly. Email clone. Oh yeah. We didn't define what email was on 85. Self. Right. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you gotta do it out there. And then again mm -hmm. inside. What, do I get that from the props, I guess? Okay. Yes, from the props. So we're gonna copy this and then copy the I saw it the on frame. On frame and this is important to copy because we want to use the same callback from the host component to the mm -hmm. attendance component. It's angry. Uh, always <laughs> Screen. Oh, you gotta like dereference something, it looks like, or something moved. Uh, How do you do that with the video track? I, I don't, I don't borrow it, I think, or do I? Yeah, professional, professional copy paster doesn't think, <laughs> just looks at what they did before and Exactly. Back. Mutable. Thinking it's too slow. It's faster to just copy paste. On <laughs> the thirty. Professional copy paster will try to compile again to see if that clears the error. <laughs> <laughs> Screen track. Really borrowed after move. Where's it being borrowed at? Where did it move? Moved somewhere. Right. That. I see. Probably the order of factors does affect the outcome. And what I need to do is um, on the video stream, I think I, I did this first. You see this screen track.clone? Yeah, because that's a reference. So you can just put that up above. Just get the settings before you. Yes. Yeah. Before I use screen track. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Cool. So we set up the video encoder. Ready to go. It's configured. It's configured to the same width than the <laughs> than the video, which is not ideal, but we just want to see the frames flowing and then we'll get fancier with this. Right. All right. Are we sending the data yet? No. Okay. Because we send it after encoding. Gotcha. Let me move this down. It's negative. <laughs> All right.
So that's the thing. We call in code after we get frame. So that's yeah, pull here. screen. Yeah, we read a frame. And then we transform it into a video frame. Huh. And then we encode it. And we're not doing anything with it, we're just closing it. We we stay with that name? Yes. Encode so it. we need to um forward it now. Yes. Also, we need to copy this variable. Let uh, let counter. I don't think it's defined here. No. So let counter equals zero. And what this does is kind of not ideal, but it probably needs to be mutable. What it does it is every fifty frames, it just inserts a keyframe. That's all. Not. Ideal, Incorrect. I guess. It's it's fine. It works. No oh, compiled. Yeah. No way. So um, after we get a frame encoded, we're going to get. So this is like an asynchronous API. So you say encode with options, and then after it's done encoding, your callback up here is going to get called. Oh, okay. So we need to change these transform B. I mean, there's, there's the lazy way of doing it, which is uh, <laughs> media packet dot type. That's the only difference. It needs to be a oh, media type. Yeah. Yes. Media yeah. Type. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Start that's small. That's the way, correct way to do it. Yes. And it's going to be screen. Put media type. It was just screen, I think. Screen. Yeah. The only difference. Hi. Oh yeah, into. Right. Happy. It's happy. Now it's going to send it out. And uh we can I can set up just like a lock message on the receiving end to prove that we got the message. Yep. So the screen share is working. We just need to inside that match we change just log it. Yes. Let's do that. I know this is going to work. There's just no way. Yeah, I agree. So we'll go to attendance. So attendance, there's a method called on media received or on packet or something. On inbound media. There you go. So here. That's our screen. Just got to log it inside the match. Right. Yep. Okay. Pile. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I I know it, I look like dumb because I just stand here but I cannot hit refresh too fast because the race conditions doesn't clear okay. or, I, or I can try maybe here I issued another compiler maybe that's what it, fixes it just blasting the refresh yeah. that doesn't give a fuck They get queued up. Yes. The refreshes. <laughs> That's not good. Do you think that maybe it is fighting with... No, I was going to say it's fighting with um, Docker. <laughs> There's a good chance it is. Uh. Like, uh... How do you have your volume defined? Um, yeah. I might, I can tell you that even when I... Yeah, this... Yeah. Yeah, Let's see. Seems fine. God. Just... <laughs> Uh, 
This is a tragedy, dude. Mm -hmm. I will say let's let, let's compile once again and then we can just fly solo. No, no recompile. Yep. Because this is just the cargo oh, check. Yeah, this is traumatizing. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey. <laughs> Uh No. Uh Did I break the BD? Maybe you're using the wrong camera. Chose a, a different camera. You are correct. Hey. Okay. Nice. Uh, now we want to connect to browsers. I'm going to disable the audio because I know that this causes feedback. I'm going well, you know what? Okay, I'll just keep it to prove that there's real communication going on. But it's going to create feedback. Well, I just sound on the call. It will just you will listen to. Mm -hmm. to in the on the recording we'll listen like two voices yeah. all right <laughs> nice <laughs> now share hold on something got invoked recursively okay. yes God screen. No, God screen no I sound like you know how I Sound, sound like, like like a robot like or it's yes. like repeating over and over yes it's terrible all right infinite loop of dario yeah like, like two, two. <laughs> nice okay so it works we see the frames so now we're going to just continue coding without looking at the browser we shut the fuck up siri don't tell me those things <laughs> So now we need to decode or just copy paste from video is what we need to do. Right. Well, okay. Yes. Copy paste from video. That's right. So we need to copy some of the properties that we have for video. So we have waiting for video keyframe. If we don't, we need to wait for a key video keyframe before showing anything else, the encoder throws an exception. Okay. And we need a screen decoder. Yes. Right? Yes. I want to. <laughs> it sounded really cool. You'll see it on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Two voices. All right. <laughs> and now this is going to freak out. That's fine. Client subscription. Yep. Uh, Jesus Christ, look at all the shit we are going to have, puppy. <laughs> That's fine, you just need the decoder. Oh, there's stuff that goes into it, though. Green. Green decoder. And then waiting for um, green frame. Ah, we can reuse those callbacks, but it will break nice. everything. Yeah, you gotta. Well, you could you reuse the error. error. It's gonna be the same, but yes, the... we're gonna change up the other one a bit. Yes, screen output. Yeah, screen. Output.
Green output, and then we're going to use the dice. What's going to be different about, let's see, the chunk. The canvas that we rendered to. Okay, right. So should we just say... <laughs> dash screen or something? Yes. Like email dash screen. The screen canvas is equal to format. Um, this dash dash screen will pass the, what, the email? Email. Yeah. Phone. Isn't this dumb what I'm doing here? Look at, check it out. Um, I think this is. Uh, saw it in the um, video output. Never mind. Uh, yes, this. So here I'm both cloning and passing as a reference. Or no, yeah, you need to clone it then get a reference. Okay. Yeah, I was like, do one or the other. That's kind of weird. Yeah, because it take a, it's, it takes a stir. I'm cloning it and then passing a reference of that new stir. Yeah. So. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just it works. So leave it. Yes. We'll for now. It up later. Yeah, and to be honest with you, that's my word of advice every all the time. Yep. Focus on what you're doing. Then fix the world. Okay, so I'm trying to compile now. And yep, <laughs> that part did throw an error. And email a clone. All right. You gotta well, you gotta clone it outside of the closure. Probably. Create a big ass box. Create a box and pass it around like it's no big deal. Mm hmm. There you go. Might need to dereference it or something. I think you could dereference it and clone it and then reference it or something. Reference it and clone it like this. I don't know about the parentheses. I don't think you need those parentheses. But you can you can dereference it, clone it, and then you could have a reference in front of the dereference. See? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Because it's a box, so you have to dereference the box before you clone the string. Right. Here here we create the box. But then we use it here. Um, so that's the problem. The scope, like these, these <laughs> boxes con consume, isn't it? Or, yeah, you need to like clone it. Clone it, yes. Like beforehand. Yes. So we, problem is here in video, we probably use 160. But you have packet.email. I think. Packet.email. Uh-huh. You're saying to use that instead? Or Yeah. Yeah, like after Um You should be able to use packet.email in there because that hasn't been moved yet. Because you cloned it. I see what you're saying, so do this instead. So if I just do... Th instead instead of passing the box around, you're saying, like, don't create the box, just leave this like it was, yep. and then use packet.email. Yeah. And you'll have to... I think you might have to remove the dereference that you added on 140. Uh, the other one. All right. Add back.
Line 260. Uh huh. 260 is the one, the, um, the new usage we added. Okay. Is, that, is that where we want to use packet.email? 60. I think it will work actually. So we either pull that box and count every time we de reference it or just. I don't know. I'm having trouble following. I don't know exactly what's happening, where it's moving, and like what's going on. It, the value's already moved. Yes. So here we clone it, but then we clone it again and then pass it as a reference. That's okay. Then I think the thing we want to always clone it and pass it as, maybe, a, as maybe, a reference. Maybe packet is moving, like the whole thing. Yes, it is moving. Variable moved due to ditch enclosure. So you cannot use it in a closure prior to this and then try to re this makes sense. How about this? We'll just clone it again. Yeah, so we use it in the video output for sure. In the video output we use the we use this. Is, we use the email. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know how to fix this the dumb way, which is create an e email too and use that. Yeah. But I know that with a box pointer, we will prevent this. Yeah. With with a box pointer, you can prevent all the. Uh, deep copies because every time you clone you get a new string a new string instead if you just have a box right. you can pa pass the box around you can copy it you can, copy it. We can, you can clone it and cloning a box is zero cost it's, it's very cheap to clone, it, clone a box that's okay. fine it's optimization right so now we got the video frame we need to add uh, the canvas to the DOM, right? And we said we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't come look at that, look at it on the screen because expensive. Um, so create a new canvas. Um, right. Cure key. keys email. So I'm just going to rename it right now so that it's not confused. Okay. Um, and we just add another canvas below that one, right? So for each peer, there'll be two canvas, one for the image and one for the screen. Now we can inline it. Um, I feel that there's something missing. So we initialized our video encoder and everything, but we, I don't think we are passing frames. I think we are almost. Yeah, there. we are. We're passing frames to it. Oh, to the decoder. To the decoder. To decoders. Right. Right. We might not have hooked something up somewhere. Oh, so let's see. Uh, on inbound media. We say if if there's a subscription, then yeah, we need to copy all this trash. What this does is to decode, is to transform the 
data that we got that we just got into an encoded video chunk. We need an encoded video chunk to pass to the decoder. Right. Yeah, because we're just logging out right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's. Copy paste. Done. <laughs> now we need to say peer dot. Need to ref okay. Need to say. And this can be a method. We. Um, I think that's it, dude. Yeah, I think it's going to work. Yes. And we, we might just need to hide the... Here. We might need to hide this div. This, this div here based on if we are receiving video frames or not. A uh, screen frames. Right. You know what? Let's do it. I think I have a feeling this is... Just just um, add a class to it and then use some CSS to hide it. Done. If it's disabled. Just say like screen disabled yep. or grid disabled or to make it more generic. Screen disabled. Disabled. Display disabled. Like this. I, you know, I met with this. Like display none. None. Maybe disabled works as well. No, but, you're uh, right. It's none. I met with some kids. Well, kids. They are yes, students, but they are like 18 years old, and <clears> that's <throat> the first recommendation I made. Learn raw CSS, HTML, so that you're not like trying to figure out how to do this with JavaScript. Who knows how to do this with JavaScript? Just just CSS. Right. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. Static. So this is going to be um, screen CSS classes if so if self dot no if the subscription is no longer waiting for screen frame for for the screen video frame that means that we got the key frame. So then this has to be read read item all the other screen dis screen disabled, I think. Else No, sorry, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite. <laughs> this this yes. Nice. Even compiles. Yep. All right, let's test it. Yeah. I uh, feeling lucky. Did you set the correct flag? The waiting for screen keyframe. Did you change that from waiting from video keyframe when no. you copied? No. Dude, you have a privileged memory. I did not. <laughs> I did not. So when we receive the first screen frame, we need to swap that. Here, here, here. Ah. <laughs> yep. Cats are fighting near me. Port the. Uh. <laughs> hey, twice in a <laughs> row. That's like a record, I think. Yeah. Unbelievable. Awesome. <laughs> Where'd it go? It didn't work. Oh. What's that? Got frame. Did we 
It is we. Oh. oh. We didn't ever send it. No, I was. I joined as the same person twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like super confused. Yes. Nice. Nope. Oh, what's that black black box that's popping open? Maybe it's the CSS hiding it. Try commenting out the CSS and see if it works. No, no. I, I see. These, there's these closure invoked recursible recursively or destroyed already, and that's ha that happens when you have a callback that has been uh, released. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you need to do the screen output. Forget. Yes. All right. So either either we forget it or we store it to the rent on. Right. Do you want to do the right thing or the bad thing? Just leave it for Just now. Just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yes. So that we stay on track and then we're super. We're about to see it work, and it compiled three times in a row. Now this is, you know, liking us right now. Right, I think my wife arrived. Let me go kiss her and I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Super close. Ah, shit. Wow. What was that? <laughs> the uh, feedback. feedback. <laughs> Look at that yeah, pose. You got, nice. you got chat pose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, so for some reason they're using the same canvas, canvas. or something. Right, let's look at that. We didn't pass the variable in, probably. It's just unused, I bet you. Yep. <laughs> we, we defined it. Green canvas. We just copy-paste. Yeah, see, we're cloning the email. We're not pass passing in the <laughs> ID. <laughs> My wife is like fighting with the dishes and everything. Then, oh man, <laughs> throwing shit around. She's ah. mad at you. Yes. <laughs> like God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anastasia just came over here and she's like, "We need to go grocery shopping." You're like. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, come on, compiler. We're so close. I don't even need to. Well, we need to compile anyways, so. Mm. What? Hey. <laughs> you gotta join us. Huh? All right. Okay. okay. Hey. Yes. 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 The it shows. It just doesn't on. show up for your yourself now. There's there's a um, grief rage issue for sure because but, but uh, both peers are receiving frames so there's a I bet you that there's a there's somewhere we set a flag that falls yes yeah that should be true it was made it might be in the host where the render I think we set it to false. But it should be true. Yes. It's in the host component. On the host component, okay. Yeah. This should get Not that stuck. one. Not that one. Yeah, because here it just gets stuck. There's another one somewhere that we changed. I see. So all is left is we told it to not refresh. Or that's it. 
We told it to not refresh in some scenarios. Is that what you're referring to with the flag set to false? Yeah, maybe it should be true there. Yeah, let's make it true, but I don't think this is going to fix it because wasn't like these blocks, I think. It just blocks forever. Okay. But how about whenever get we get an inbound packet, what do we we actually they I mean this has to return at some point on outbound media on, on inbound media it should be true we do want to refresh the screen window I think the whole screen this component at least let's see maybe i'm because doesn't the callback change the content for you i know that's what i expected to do but all right share aha yes nice Yes. Yes. Heck yeah. <laughs> it works. It, it works. works. Finally. Finally.